Good morning, YouTube. This morning we're going to do something a little different. We're just going to take four pups to the creek. We're not going to take any grown dogs. And we're going to see where we're at with these pups. They, uh, they've always worked with the grown dogs. And uh, they've done a good job. They're still young. They haven't seen a raccoon yet. And that kind of concerns me. Uh, but Brawler, he's big enough that he, he can hold his own right now. And uh, what I want to do, I think it makes them better dogs if, at this age if you can get them out and make them do the work yourself. You know, a lot of times they follow the parents and they depend on the parents. And uh, I think, you know, I'm, I'm sure that, you know, a better dog, if you can do it, is to get them some work by themselves and make them get out and work. So we're going to find out where we're at with them today. Uh, it, I'm still waiting on the sun to come up. It's around 5 in the morning here in Eric, Oklahoma. And, uh, we're going to leave the parents home. My mama dogs, two of them have pups, and one of them's bred, so we can't take them. My boomer dog, he's getting old, and I really don't want anything to happen to him. He sleeps with me. And, uh, you know, I got I got Grim and Axe out there. Great game dogs. Tough as hell, no backup. But they got a few faults, and I, when I work pups, I really like to work them with the most faultless dogs that I have. Uh, they're at an age right now where they're going to pick up the habits of other dogs. You know, I'm going to concentrate on that. I've been away from YouTube for a while. I apologize for that. I do miss making the videos. I, uh, I've i been going through a lot here lately. My wife and kids left. Uh, my wife is 17 years. Randy, you see her in the video. She's been my best friend and my soulmate. And uh, she took off with the kids a couple weeks ago. Uh... It doesn't look like she's coming back, so that, that's really hurt. Hurts, and I've, uh, uh, I was diagnosed with kidney cancer last year, late last year, and had some surgeries. I've just got a partial kidney left, and uh, I've had a lot of trouble with it bleeding. I need to get in for another procedure and try to stop some type of aneurysm that's happening, but I just haven't had the wheel right now. But it slowed me down. I'm out here working at 5 in the morning every day. Uh, try to keep things going. Uh, I've been away from the videos. I apologize for that. I really want to get back with the dogs and back to the creek uh, and really get the video and these pups working. So when I end this video, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to turn these four pups out on the creek. I haven't looked on the calendar. I'm thinking they're probably around six and a half or seven months. Uh, one of them is probably two, three weeks younger than that cricket. She's a frail little girl, but crazy. And uh, I really love her. But I suspect they're going to do pretty good. What we're going to do is, is just watch these dogs grow up. I mean, we may not get anything, but we're going to watch them discover uh, their own sets, you know, working out their own scents, and uh, maybe find a few things. It sounds like Molly's ready to go. But uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. Hey, you know, if you're a thoughtful person, keep me in your thoughts right now. If you're a prayerful person, keep me in your prayers. If you're a well, <laughs> if you're a wealthy person, keep me in your will. Uh, I could sure use some help. But uh, I appreciate all of you, and I hope you enjoyed the hunt this morning. We are at the creek. The sun's up. It's foggy, and this is Cricket, a little fireball, a little frail girl. Yeah, she is tough as nails. And uh, Cricket is out of Eve. And these other three pups are going to be hunting Brawler, Goosey, and Melee. They're out a little bit. They're quite a bit bigger than her. But she's a handful and crazy. <laughs> and kind of retarded, and I love her. But we're going to turn out. So here we go. Well, here we go. Right off the bat, this is a new spot. We haven't been to it yet. It's a big drift right off the bat. Right here at the bridge where we turned out. We're going to see if we can get these pups to go catch that drift. Oh. They're getting emptied out and they'll settle down here in a minute. Looks like she's going and Goosey's going. Go check it. Check it. Good girls. Check it. Check it, Cricket. Where's that girl? Cricket's doing great. He's down under there. 
We'll walk them down there. We're just gonna have to take our time. This is just part of teaching them. It's frustrating when you don't have the finished dogs. You really like to get them on something. But this is all part of them learning it right here. Check it. Hunt for them. Hunt for them, girls. Brother, go find them, boy. Very damn good. Got their nose to the ground. Checking everything. So we're just going to take our time on this drift. Let them get some understanding about how this works. Sometimes with these pups, when you want them to go, you just got to sit still. They're wanting you to go. Finally, you know, if they won't get out there, you just want to sit. It's frustrating. 15, 20 minutes, they'll get bored standing there and they'll get out and go looking. So you just got to be patient. You know, they're, they're doing a good job of checking it, but I need them to get out a little further. There goes Melee after something. Good girl, Melee. What are you doing up there, girl? Huh? No, that's Cricket. What are you doing, Cricket? There's Melee. Where's he at, girl? Hunt for him. Hunt for him. Go find me a pin. Hurry. They're using their noses. They just don't know what they're doing yet. All we need to do is have them get a scent of one thing. Start things off. Start building some confidence. These are really tough creek banks. Where's he at, Cricket? Hunt for him, girl. Good boy, brawler. Hunt for him, boy. Check it, boy. Good boy. Hunt for him. Good boy. Good girl, cricket. Good girl. Hunt for him now. Where's he at, cricket? Where's he at, girl? Hunt for him, girl. Check it, girl. Check it. Hunt for him. Hunt for him, brawler. Find him, boy. Where's he at? Boy, hunt for him. Them alone, something. Good girl, melee. Check it, girl. Check it, baller. Where's he at, boy? Check it, goose.
creek has got something in there. Let's go. Go help cricket. Get in there. Go help cricket. No, it's just gone. Get out of there. Here. Here, get out of there. Here. Get out of there. Let's go. Here. We got skunks. I know there's a coon. I saw him run down the creek. I got up in this brush pile and I smell skunk. Here, let's go. Let's go. Here. Come on, Cricket. I know I saw a raccoon run down the creek. I thought he went in a drift. Dogs went in. Cricket came out with a skunk. Let's see if we can. Uh... Cricket, is this your first skunk girl? Bro, you don't like it either? Let's go get a couple adult dogs. You want to? Go back and get this coon. Well, we got skunks. I'm proud of Cricket. She went in there and found a skunk. She came out, got sprayed. Several of them did. But while we were after that skunk, I looked down the creek and I saw a big, big raccoon running down the creek, probably about 60, 70 yards out. We scared one of the brush piles, I guess, up in front of us. He's way too big for these pups to handle, so I went home and got Boomer and Grim. We're going to walk that same creek out with these pups one more time and maybe show them what they did wrong and maybe they'll learn from it and hopefully we'll find that raccoon. And, uh, if we can't get them bit for the first time. But here we go. You know what, you still got a skunk. You gotta get off me. I can't make it.